Hello. Hi, is this Sherry? Yes. Hey, this is Paul from the Portrait Studio. You had your pictures done with yes. us yesterday. Yes. And um, we had a little problem here. Um, well, I mean, kind of a big problem. Uh, like all of your the clothing in your pictures, it was pretty dark clothing, right? Uh, no, we had red and white on. Yeah, red. That's that's the bad one. Because we used to print these out, print out your pictures. We use thermal printers. And the the heads on them get really hot, and because of the color of your clothing and the pattern and all that, uh, basically it set the printer on fire. It set our printer on fire. The portrait studio is pretty much in ruins. I, I mean, all of your pictures are gone, all the computer data is gone. But uh, you're, we've the the manager's telling me we're going to have to file charges against you for the fire because it was the, Wait, the your choice of clothing. Because we use a thermal printer and it set everything on fire. I mean, it set the printer on fire. The, the heat, the heads of it heat up. It's a really old printer, like a really old model. And it doesn't have the safety stuff built in. And it, it caught on fire when, when nobody was in the room. And it set the entire portrait studio on fire. The entire store had to close down today. You know, one of the busiest Christmas shopping days of the year. Okay. But they're saying that um, we may have to... I just wanted to kind of warn you, give you a heads up. They're, they're talking about filing charges against you because of... For the, what? Well, it's, it's because Did anybody the, tell us that we weren't supposed to use that color to, when we came in? I, I I would think it would just be common sense. Because uh, it's the color of clothing. Common like, sense to that, who? that particular shade of red, it just like heats up on these old thermal printers that we use with Windows XP. Okay, but we don't, we don't know what kind of computers you guys use. And if you guys knew that, then you guys should have told us that before really? we did it. So, so you're you're saying that you know your excuse is ignorance. You, you should try that with a cop the next how, time you get pulled wait, over. No, I didn't know what no, the speed limit did, was, did, and see how well that works, man. How do I? How can it be that it's ignorance? I'm a customer. I don't know what kind of computers you folks use. Did you hear my analogy with I the cop do- getting pulled over? T- tell a cop you didn't know what the speed limit was and see what he says. No, that's I, something I, I thought different. That was pretty brilliant. That's something different. Right. I know what the, the speed how- limit is. But I don't know how you can turn on a data we're responsible know. for it. I don't know, ma'am. I'm really upset because we, 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 you know, people could have died today and it would have been all of your fault on Christmas. Okay. How could it have been my fault? Because of the, the colors. Because of the clothing we chose to use to come and do our pictures? Yes. And, and you wanted the darker background and everything and it heat up the heads. No, the Nobody... darker background was brought down by your photographer. But that's what we you chose. We didn't choose that dark song. Because we use white for everything. Okay, wait a second. Everyone uses white. Everybody uses white to take pictures? Most of them, We had yeah. white on. My husband had white on. No, no, My I'm talking about the on. background of the pictures, you dummy. Don't call me a dummy, because I'm not a dummy. I'm sorry. I'm really upset, because basically I'm out well, of a job I'm now. Well, I'm really upset, too, because this, this, this is Christmas Eve, and you're telling me that we're going to be responsible for that? I'm, I'm pissed. Well, it's not me that's saying you're How responsible. How you call me on Christmas Eve? It's the manager. Who's telling you that we're going to be responsible? The, your manager? Yeah, the store manager. Yeah, because they had to close down the entire store. We lost, like, so much money on sales. Like, we make, you know, probably $90,000 in the evenings on Christmas Eve. and we Okay, didn't, tell me where you are calling from. Are that. you calling from this portrait studio? Are you calling no, from this No, it caught store? on fire. We're not allowed in there anymore. It's been condemned until they can fix it. You know, my husband's not going to be happy when he hears about this also because really? it's like you guys are putting the blame on us. And you know what? There's no blame on us. Our 123 employees aren't going to be happy not to have a job right after Christmas because of your clothing choices. Okay, so I heard went on fire today, and they had to. I know. I you don't have to tell me all this. I already know all this. Why are you telling me? This is what I just told you. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my husband. Oh, you forgot to tell me that. Because the printer that they seem to use does not work well with red clothing. So. When nobody was in the printing office, the printer caught on fire and burned the store down. So 125 employees are out of work and they closed down today on the busiest shopping day. And they're going to put us responsible for it because of the clothing that we use to take our portraits. The firemen are saying you're going to have to take fire safety training courses. How are we going to have to take fire training safety courses? What I'm saying is how do we know as customers what kind of printers you guys use to print out our pictures? It's if common guys, sense. Everybody knows no, this. If, These no, printers. You, no, who's everybody that knows not to come in to use red? These printers are from the '90s. Like everyone has always known this. You know what? We took Christmas photos. Red is a Christmas color. Oh, don't be a smartass, ma'am. I'm not being a smartass, and don't tell me that I'm not to be not be a smartass, ma'am. Listen. 
That's what we came in to take was our Christmas photos. Yeah, obviously. If your workers knew that red wasn't going to work, then they should have told us, oh, you know what, ma'am? Red is not a color she that was you guys an... should be using. We would have been happy to go on home and change. She was a new employee, so she didn't know not to say red. Oh, she... now you're saying she was a new employee. She didn't know not to She's say a te- that? She was a teenager, practically, and you're an old person. Like, old people should know. Your guys fought for hire and a teenager and not saying that to us. Don't put the blame on us. Don't try and pass if the blame on us when you, you caught our store no, on don't, fire. Don't put the blame on us. We didn't catch your guys store on fire. We came in and provide and did you guys Ma'am. did us a service. We paid hundred and fifty dollars for a CD that we walked away with. Oh, and, and we who, didn't order any portrait. And who's the idiot we paying one hundred and fifty dollars for a CD? Excuse me. You heard me. I'm, I need to let you know. I'm, no, rec- I'm, rec- you. I'm recording this call for quality insurance, and we have to pass it along to the police. They're no, probably going to make. You didn't t- tell me that. Be- you didn't tell me that before we started speaking. So therefore, your call now. It, it, it's you're supposed to tell me that before we even started speaking that you're recording this call. What's well, a business call calling insurance. you? What do you think is going to happen? Listen, ma'am, I have to go. I have to call other people and tell them. I have to tell the employees that they're out of a job now. What they, is your name again? Th- thanks to your negligence. What is your name again? Mike. No, you told me your name was Paul when you first called. Then why'd you ask? Your name is Mike now. Why'd you ask? What is your last name? Why are you asking if you know what my name is? Because I want to know your first and your this last is, this name. This is the same kind of deceit you used to get our picture studio to catch on fire. The same kind of deceit I used to ca- have your portrait studio catch on fire? Ma'am, I have to go call other people. I'm going to let you go. Cactus, 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 cactus. Hello, everybody. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. This is episode 653. This is the story time show. We call up people on the telephone and tell them stories, interactive stories, in fact, where they get to play along and everyone has a great time, including you, the listener. Today's show is brought to you by Blackpink in your area, Chris C., Theo P., Ryan B., and four OCRV hobos. Wow, all of that stuff I just said, that's going to be super confusing to new listeners. But that's okay. Fuck these new people. We're going to do a show today. It's going to be a live show, but I have some bad news. It's not going to be my show. I left my laptop in the kitchen again when I went out for the night to go, you know, just drinking and and clubbing and stuff. And Carol, she took my laptop and did her own show with it. It's kind of bullshit, to be honest. So that's what you're about to hear. This is a live show. It happened two days ago on Wednesday, right after the Daisy Pendergrass show and right before the Devin Anastart show. And it was lots of fun. So I hope you enjoy it. Here it is. You're about to hear it. This is Carol's show from this week. Your call has been forwarded ah, to an automatic voice. Fucking John. He was supposed to pick up right as that song ended, but he totally ruined my show, my intro. I was going to start with a, uh, 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 you know, a beautiful song by Air Supply, which everybody loves. And then right after that song ended, that call was going to pick up. But he didn't pick up. He, he ruined it. It's just like a man. Please leave your message ah. for six. Two, six. So hey everybody, this is Carol. I'm doing the the, uh, the Carol show. The Carol's kitchen show. The Carol's... Wait, we had something. It's something that had three K's in it. Nothing wrong with that, right? Hello. Carol's country Hello. kitchen. Hello. But I think Carol's prank call kitchen. That's good enough, right? That, that works. Hello? Oh, hey, Beth? Yeah? It's your neighbor, Carol. Hi. Hey! How, how are you doing? I'm sorry to call so uh, late. That's okay. Okay, all right. Hey, uh, listen, um, there's a small problem here in the neighborhood. Okay. Uh, can you please stop coming over here and watering my trees? I see you doing it on the doorbell camera. Wait, what? Like, you're always coming over here, like, late at night. At, I, I assume after you think I went to bed. 
and watering my trees. And you know what? I water my trees just fine. Who is this? This, this, this is Carol. Carol Gersperms. I'm in the blue house. There's no one in a blue house in my neighborhood. Oh, you have to have the wrong boat. Bullsh no, I'm like a couple blocks away, and I don't know why you're coming all the way over here. But, but you know, you, you keep doing that. And Who do you think you're calling? Oh, I know who I'm calling. This is Beth. You live over there on that over there in the poor people's area. So this is Carol who? Carol Gersperms, and I water my trees just fine. So I don't know what you're getting at. I don't know if you watering my trees is supposed to be a diss against me. But I'm who the I do not water anyone's trees. I'm just saying I don't appreciate it. Cause how did you get my number? Oh, I looked it up. I know oh, how to, did you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I know how to look things um, up. I know how to, live again? I know how to use the, I know how to use the Internet. Well, congratulations. Oh, what yeah. blue house, I'm sorry? Jealous much. Uh, the, pretty much the only blue house, you know, like three blocks down. You know, you know, you know exactly who this is. There aren't even blocks in you. Go you keep coming over. Well, you know what I mean by a block, bitch. You keep coming over here and watering my trees, and I don't appreciate it. She thinks I'm watering her fucking trees at night. Who is this? Hello? Gertzberg. I know who she is. Who is this? Who the fuck is this? Whoa, bitch. Whoa. You're going to want to slow this up. Who, are, who is this? Oh, hey, look. Can you just put your, put your woman back on the phone? The women were having a talk. And were they? you don't need to come, in, come on here all yammering, being a weirdo. You know, just... just yeah, being a weirdo. Why are you calling put, my Why are you calling my wife? Beth, put Beth back on the phone, please. Actually, why don't do you have a significant other? Uh, that's none of your damn business. Aren't you taken? Why are you hitting on me? Yeah, there, there's no reason for that. I am I am not interested. You do not sound like my type. I don't know why you're asking me if I have a husband. I think I really need oh, to I think I need to talk to oh. your your whatever that lady is. Whatever that lady is. Well, she's yeah. obviously not your wife because you're hitting on me, asking me if I'm single. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's uh, that was a great conversation. Um, okay, look, why, like don't, why don't you tell that hoe just to stop coming over here and watering my trees because I don't need her water. I don't need her charity case. Why you're wa watering your trees? Yeah, why would she do that? That doesn't make any sense at all. With what is she watering your trees with? What What do you mean? Yeah. What is she watering trees with? That's a stupid question. She, that's a stupid question. Well, I yeah. think I'm, pro I'm I'm talking to a dumb motherfucker right here. So um, you can't call what, me that. Oh, I just did. Oh my god! I, I got think, a lot more. I can, you know what? I got you a lot more for you. You sound like an abusive. Got, you sound like an abusive husband, and I, I think. Do uh, I sound like an abusive husband? Maybe Maybe I need to befriend Beth because it sounds like she needs a friend right about now. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you should definitely. Yeah, you should definitely do that. Okay. Yeah. What? Whatever your whatever your witty comeback was, I didn't hear it because you were pulling the mic because phone away from your mouth and you sounded like shit. Complete. Do you shit. live in this neighborhood? Yes. I live right down the street. Right down the street. Well, I mean, like around the. I'm. I'm not on. I'm not in the poor people neighborhood. I'm over on Springs Drive. Oh, on Springs Drive, huh? The poor people, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, no, yeah. No. You're going to call us the poor people. I've seen the houses on your street. I don't even go that way because I don't feel comfortable. Oh, you don't? That's no. too bad. I could buy and sell your ass. I guarantee you that. Oh, bullshit. So you need to... Oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah. You there, sound big time. Your, your little hood. Yeah, you sound big time. So, I'll tell you what. My house is bigger than yours. I have a fence. You don't, even, you don't even have a... Yeah, I bet you don't have a fence. I haven't been in your backyard, but you don't, even, you don't, you don't sound like fence people. You don't even know who the fuck I am. Oh, I know exact. I know who your wife is. Right. She just needs to stop, stop watering my... No, I don't really know who you are, okay? I just want you to please stop watering my trees. Those are my trees. Leave my trees alone. You're going to overwater them. They're going to get too much water. You're going to kill them. All right. Well, I don't know what you think I have done. But if you call my house at 11 o'clock again tonight, or any other night... How would I do it again? Like, it's 11.06. It's impossible. That would involve time travel, lady. Fuck you. 
<laughs> All right. I got <laughs> I got to fuck you out of her. Okay. What's funny is that um like I'm looking on this neighborhood on uh Google Maps like the overhead view. And you can tell this is one of those neighborhoods where Every single house is exactly the same. They're all the same size. They all have the same color roof. If I click on the house, I bet you. Oh no, you can't even go in this neighborhood. It's a, it's a gated community. So they're all the same, you know. They don't live on that bad of a street. It's just around the corner from me. Give her a call back. No, Leon, what are you talking about? That goes against the rules of prank calling. Listen, Leon. You need to brush up on your prank call uh, 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 etiquette. That's that's the word. You need to look at phonelosers.com slash rules. You don't just call... Okay, I'm going to call her back. I'm going to call her back. Fucking Beth. I'm going to do it. But if I get in trouble, it's Leon's fault. Fucking Leon. Who does he think he is? Your call has been forwarded Aww. to an automated voice messaging system. Well, balls. Sorry, Leon, I couldn't do it. And I don't know who this uh, person is in the chat that says Carol Gersperms is a puppet. I'm no puppet. I have my own political beliefs, and I don't do anything that anyone tells me unless I want to do it, unless, I, unless it was my idea first, and usually it is. Usually when I have an idea, it's my idea. I don't do what other people say. I ain't no goddamn puppet lady person, whoever you are. Calling me a puppet. Don't worry about who I vote for. I don't have to tell you shit. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. I, I just I just told you, lady. I mean, person. I, I don't know that you're a lady. <laughs> I'm just, you just have saying. reached the voicemail box of... A uh -huh. All right, that was Aaron. Aaron's not picking up. I can't remember if I did a proper intro to this show, so hey everybody, I'm Carol Gersperms. You've been listening to the Daisy Pendergrass prank call show for the past couple hours. It was pretty good. You did a good job, Daisy. And uh, in approximately an hour, I've heard, I don't know exactly what time, maybe an hour? Maybe an hour and a half? Maybe 30 minutes after the hour? I don't know, but... Uh, Devin. Devin does a show on Wednesday nights. She's going to be on next immediately after me. As soon as I hear her come on, I am leaving. And you are all going to go over to her channel. Mixler.com slash the Devin Show Machine on Mixler.com. That's her URL. Yep. That's right, Acres. Daisy was cool. But now, it's time for a real woman. Oh, hello, Paul? Paul? Hello? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I was, I was listening to the bangles. I, I didn't hear you pick up because I was listening to the bangles. Who is, who, who is this? Oh, it, it's Carol, your neighbor. You, you know, like, I, I live just around the corner from you. Like, I'm, I'm like around the corner. You're on just lane. Yes. Yeah, yes. it's Carol, your neighbor. <clears throat> Hello, who's that lady? Carol, do I, Carol, do I know you? Oh no, I don't really know you. I just I've been getting your mail, and I'm sorry to call so late. I work the night shift. Okay. Who is that yammering on in the background? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Forget I said that. Okay, sir. I'm getting your mail. How do I... Ah, shit! I fucked... <laughs> why, why, why did I do that? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not... I'm new at this, okay? This is my very first prank call show. I'm very sorry. It was an accident. Everybody in the chat room is making fun of me. Hello? Hey, Corey? Yes? This is Carol from the, from the mayor's office. Okay. Hey, uh, you know, you know, um, you know the mayor. I don't know if you know her personally, but she wanted me to give you a message. Oh yeah. 
She says she doesn't like you. Hmm. Yeah, this is all Nunu's fault. I, I tried to I tried to make a little make a little sidetrack here, make a little U turn. He told me to say I was calling from the mayor's office, but it didn't seem to work out. And I, I didn't mm. I don't think you're even believing me. No. All right. Can you just shut the fuck up and just wait there and don't say anything? I gotta call. So I gotta call Antonio. Don't hang yeah, up. Okay. Here it goes. Ah, Antonio just hung up. Let's try. Oh wait. You hung up. Fuck. Fucking Corey. No, no, it didn't work out. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried my best. Did not work out. I'm new at this. Oh, hello, Antonio? It's it's Carol, your neighbor. Hello? <laughs> Wrong number. No, it's Antonio. You're in Is this Antonio? No wrong number. This is not Antonio. You put Antonio on the phone right now. We're calling from Frankie's list tonight, so any wrong numbers are completely his fault. That number said it was Antonio, but... Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice but message. No. Hey, it's Craig. Just leave me a message and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Thanks. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press option. Hey, Craig. We're calling Savannah. Just, just be quiet. Don't say anything. We're calling Savannah. We're gonna talk to Savannah. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. Four seven six ah, six no, three ah, eight. Ah, ah, okay. no. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Okay. Your call has been forwarded ah, to an shit. automated voice messaging system. Craig? Mila, Slipaya. Mila, hey Mila. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. To leave a callback number, okay, press five. Listen here, Linda. Okay, Craig and Savannah and Mila, I think her name was, names were. Uh, we're getting ready to call Taklisha. Just, just hold on one second. I'm sorry. Your ah, simultaneous call limit reached. Oh, Goodbye. Oh, no. I reached my si simultaneous call limit. All right, let's just try and... Let's just try Techlisha. I was going to see how many people I could put on at once, but I guess that's not an option. I should fix that. Why is everyone making fun of Techlisha's name? I think it's a nice name. No, there is no Q. What are you talking about? It's my own personal call limit, Corbin. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Two. Ah. All right, now this is part of the show where I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go pee. Be, uh, be right back. Oh, you guys, we're getting a call. Hello. Oh, Evelyn. Hey, it's Carol. I'm your neighbor. Yes. Hey, why do you have a 708 number? That's not local. That's Chicago. <laughs> Wait a minute. Carol, my neighbor. Which neighbor are you? Uh, you know the blue house? Oh, man, they just hung up. Not you. You know the blue house down the street? Blue house down the street. Yeah. Oh, which is it? Oh, yeah, it's okay, blue. Okay, I, I, haven't, I haven't really paid attention, but I'll check. Okay. Oh, I don't want you to. I'm just... I was hoping that you could stop coming over here and fishing, fishing in my swimming pool. That's weird. What? You're, you're always coming in our backyard. Like, we have a fenced-in yard, ma'am. And I know that we don't lock the gate, but you don't need to be just coming in our yard all willy-nilly. I have no idea who you are. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's Carol. <laughs> it's Carol. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know who you are, and I don't, I don't do whatever you're saying you're doing. Well, what, doing. okay, fine then. What are you even doing in my backyard that late at night? Okay, this is really weird. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, and I don't you, even know who you are. You do okay. too. Like, you don't have to play dumb. I'm, I'm just asking if you could please not do that anymore. Okay. Uh, 
All right. Aw, oh, little dog 24, are you like Brad? Why don't you just go fuck yourself then? Who gives a shit about Brad? Why don't you go, go listen to Brad then? He's got a podcast with like 5 billion hours of content. Go listen to fucking Brad then, asshole. I don't care if you don't like me. Can you tell? Can you tell how much I don't care? All right, what am I doing on this call? Don't talk about Brad on my show. This is my show. Okay, puppet person. I know your puppet. call has been forwarded to an automated voicemail. You're the puppet, motherfucker. So it looks like it's eight thirty. We may have a half hour left. We may have 45 minutes left. We might have an hour left. I don't know. Devin's going to be home soon. And hopefully I will notice when her show starts so I can end mine. Because I, I don't want any prank wars. You know, I don't, I don't want any trouble. Devin is a very good friend of mine. To an automatic voice message. Me and her, we, we loan each other bobby pins. Because that's what girls do. That's what us girls do. We loan each other bobby pins. When it, whenever I run out and whenever she runs out, we loan each other those bobby pins, you know. Dev, is Devin my wife? What the fuck? I ain't no homo, motherfucker. Hello. Hey, Christy. Yes. It, it's Carol down the street. Uh huh. Oh my gosh, are you watching the news? No. Ah. Oh. Listen. Christy, um, you're going to want to turn on the news because uh, a spaceship a spaceship has landed on the White House lawn. That was not a good prank. But I, I had fun doing it. Whatever, I don't care. Thanks, puppet person. I'm just going to call you puppet. How do you like that? Oh, hello, James? Yes. Hey, were you sleeping? I'm so sorry. It's your neighbor, Carol. Yes. Are, were you sleeping? I'm sorry. Uh-huh. I'm sorry about that. Hey, what were you dreaming about? Hey, goodbye. What? 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 Oh, you think I'd have more luck with that than uh, what's-his-face did? You know, being a female and everything. Hello. Avon is a quality project. Oh, hey, Jenna? Jenna? It's, yeah. It's Carol, your neighbor, over in the Blue House? Nope. What do you mean, nope? What do you mean, nope? What does she mean? That was bullshit. Whoever was talking shit about Avon, that's their fault. Not my fault. Thank you, Mr. Binks. Hello? Hey, Scott? Yes. Hey, hey, it's Carol, your neighbor. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Pretty good, were you sleeping? No. Cool, what, what, what were you doing? Were you watching TV? Were you, watch, were you playing on the internet? Scott? Yeah? What, what were you doing? Why, why are you being so secretive about what you're doing? Oh, who is this? It's Carol. You know the Blue House? The Blue House? Well, you know, you know, is it the, the trim? Oh. Yeah, you know, uh, like, like you live, you, you live on, I, I live over on Guard Hill Lane. You know, it's like way on the other end. Okay. Yeah, I'm not on your street. I'm just, I'm like down, down the block. If you okay. Can, if you can call it a block. What? What's what's up? Ah, uh, what are you doing? I'm sitting in my living room. Why? Uh, what are you doing? Are you wa are you playing on the the internets? You watching television? What are you doing? Why are you being so weird about this whole thing? Uh, because uh, you're calling me. Okay. I guess that's why. Okay, listen, is your wife, is your wife home? Why? I'm just, just wondering, what, what are you doing right now? Are you, you busy? No, it's 1130. 
Yeah. Yeah. What what better time, you know? You, you want to... Do you know who Mrs. Stuman is? She's like in that White House. It's like halfway between us. Who's that? Mrs. Stuman. She she lives in the... She's like, she, she's, she's, she's got the... She's got that, that fancy car. What car is that? I don't, I don't know cars. I'm a woman. Look, I just want to know, would you like to meet me over in Mrs. Stuman's backyard for a little, a little, uh, you know, something, something? Wink, wink. For what? For a little something, something. Is, is she in bed already? Who's that? Well, you know, what's her face? H hello? Oh, sh hello? Hi, this is Carol. I'm your neighbor. Uh, this is this is Carol. Yeah. What? And your, who is this? Your name's Carol? Yes. Oh, that's the weirdest thing. I had no idea. My name is Carol. Hey, I, I was just wondering, um, I was hoping, can you stop, can you, can you please, can both of you please stop burning rubber out of your driveway whenever you leave? Uh, I, we don't burn rubber out of our driveway. Where do you, out of our driveway ever? Well, Where do you live? I, I'm, I'm like. I think you have the wrong house. Oh, no, you're on place. I, I live, like, I'm all the way down there on plane. Okay. Yeah, but you know, like I'm, I'm like right at the end of the street. You can, you can see me, and and I can hear you burning rubber every time you leave your driveway. I, you have the wrong people. We never burn rubber. Do you know it's eleven thirty at night that you're calling our house? Oh yeah. Well, guess what? Last time you burned rubber is like one in the morning. So. So you have the absolutely have the wrong house. Hey, can you hold on one, one second? Look, I gotta put you on with my supervisor. Hello? Okay, uh, let's see. Ashley. Let's call let's call Ashley. I messed up that call with uh fake Carol, because I was gonna I was gonna connect her with who was calling in, but maybe it's for the best that she had. Please leave your name and Yeah, as a male stripper. I totally agree, Acres, thank you. For clearing that up. Holy shit, 123 listeners. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. That's that's nice of you. To tune in for me. Little me. Chicken Boner says he loves the Carol and Carol action. And you know what? I agree. That was pretty hot. Hello? Hey! Hey! Secret! Wait a minute, I'm trying to get this thing on. Hello? Hey, Secret. Yeah? It's your neighbor, Carol. Carol? Yeah. No, Carol. What? Did you just call me Daryl? Down the street? Yeah, yeah. You know you know that blue house? Uh, well, I mean, it's blue. not... It's, it used to be blue. Carol, are you talking about... It, it, what, what street is you on? You talking about... I'm on her <laughs> drive. Okay, blue house. I don't be paying no attention. It's on the same side of the street with me? Uh, the opposite side. Are you the lady who came and talked to me? You and your husband did? Um, I, yes. Are you, are you the, the, the home association people? Yes, that's me. Look, okay. we need we to... Just, yeah, okay, because no, another couple came down one time. They was on this side of the street, and they said they live in a White House. Oh. So was, uh, yeah. So what's going on? Ah, uh, oh, we have a little, a little, uh, a little, little problem here. What is it? Well, you know, you keep leaving your trash cans out too late. You know, the trash people come and pick them up, and then they're just there for days. You gotta pick those trash cans up and put them out of sight. Because we don't want, for we days? don't, we don't want normal people. Well, you know, it seems like days. We don't want normal no. people. We don't want, like, the, the little... The, the the low rent people to to know that 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 we have trash like them. But today today is not a garbage day to put it out for tomorrow. No, well, tomorrow not no, no, tonight is fine. But when the oh, okay, I thought I put it out too early or something. Okay. No, 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 no. You just yeah. you leave it out just forever. You know, after the the, yeah. the trash men come, 
Just uh -huh. leave, leave it out what there. Time they, what time they come? Because I forget, I forget I'll be in this house. What time they usually come in? What time they usually come in, in, uh, in the morning? Or what? Yeah, I think so. Are you are you like working when they come by? No, I'm usually I'm probably usually in the bed. I told you I got arthritis real bad. That's yeah. why that's why I sit in front of my garage. I don't have to bring it down to the curb. Yeah. I got a hand sticker. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay. That's like fine. So what time do they usually uh? Well, come? you know, I I I ain't, I ain't the goddamn four one one operator. I'm just saying maybe after the trash men come. I mean, they make a lot of racket out there with their the crazy robot trucks. Do you think you could just yeah. put your trash yeah, away? I'll, yeah, the one thing about it is that I'm way in the back of the house. I don't even hear them. Okay. Why don't you hang out in the front of the house? Oh, I guess, uh, huh? Why don't you hang out in the front of the house? Because my bedroom's in the back of my house. In front of my house is three bedrooms. Okay. My bedroom is on the back of the house. Okay, all right. Problem number yeah. two. Um, you, like, your next-door neighbor has been saying that you're making too much noise when you go to the toilet. What? You're making too much noise when you go to the toilet. Maybe you should shut the window. I don't have no window in my toilet, oh. in my bathroom. Yeah, that's... Is this a joke or something? No, I would not joke about this, but it sound... that's something that somebody would say if they make a lot of noise when they're pooping. And I know this is an embarrassing thing. I'm, not one... I'm the only one live here, and there's nobody live here. My toilet don't even have no... Um... Don't even have no window. Okay, just because you're the only one that lives there doesn't mean you can be as is loud this, as you want. Is this for real or is this a joke? No, no I would not kid about this, ma'am. Yeah, but I'm still saying I don't even have no, I don't have no uh, window in my bathroom. Okay, well. What, 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 what are you talking about? Then, 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 then the problem is even worse because they hear you when you have your other windows open. You just, can you I don't, please? I never have opened a window since I've been here. Can you just stop? I have me? never opened a window since I've been in this house. Get, what? I have never opened a window. That is weird. Huh? That's weird. I have never opened a window since I've been in this house. What? I never had no reason. Why, why don't you open the windows? You know, like, like turn off the okay, AC well, for once I in your life it. and, and just. I, the what now? Feel the cool breeze on your face. It, do, what, do what now? I'm I'm saying you should open your windows and turn off your AC. It's good for you. It's good for everyone. It's good for the earth. You get to feel a nice cool breeze on your face sometimes. No, no, no. I like my air conditioner. I don't open up the window. You, you can hear people outside. Wait a minute, honey. You, you, can, wait, hear the, wait, you, you can hear the trash truck. What did you say your name is? It's Carol. Your name is Carol who? K Carol Gersberms. Carol who? Carol Gersberms. So... Look, just when you're on the Carol. toilet, just don't scream. Carol who? Gersh Burns. Woman. <laughs> I don't know what tipped her off. I think she heard me giggling. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That was cool for her to ask me if I'm with the HOA. I got to do an HOA call, and I don't even have an HOA list. That was that was awesome. Thank you, everybody in the chat room, for the ideas. I don't remember whose ideas I used, but they were fun. And thanks, everyone, for tuning in tonight. <phone rings> Mr. Stevo wants me to tell them to stop stealing produce. Stop stealing produce from my garden. That could be fun. So, okay, I'll stay on for 15 more minutes just to try... The voice mailbox of Adam Livers. Please leave me a message. Just to try Steve-O's idea. That's what I'll do. I'm going to be like... I'm going to be like... I'm going to be like, my, my backyard is not your personal supermarket. That's what I'm going to say. That'll, that'll really tell them. Hello, this is Rebecca. Hey! Hey! Ebony! Ebony! It's Carol, your neighbor. Hello? Hi. Yeah. Hey! Hey, were you sleeping? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry to call so late. It's Carol, you know, in the blue house? In the blue house? Yeah. Hey. Hey, do, do you think you... Well, can you please stop coming in my backyard and stealing my produce out of my garden? What? I, I, I'm just... Look, look I, I know it's, it's not the biggest deal in the world. I don't even have a fence in my backyard. 
But you keep coming back there and stealing all my produce. Can you please not steal my produce? <laughs> Hello, Ebony? Did you just fart? Ebony? Hello? I'm not mad or anything. I, I was just hoping you could cut it out, you know? Th those, that's my produce. Hello? Okay, I don't know. She might have hung up. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to move on. Hello? Hey, Penny? Yeah? It's Carol, your neighbor. Yeah? Hey, do you think you could please stop coming in my backyard and stealing my produce? Because that's my produce. It is. Yeah, yeah, can you just leave that alone? That's mine. Yeah, we'll leave it alone. My, my backyard is not your goddamn supermarket, lady. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll stay out of your supermarket. Okay, did, did you like that, though? Like, I, I, I wrote that down to say to you. Yeah, I love it. Okay, all right. Just, just cut it out. Stay out of my backyard. It's my yard, my produce. Okay. If, if you want me to sell some to you, maybe I'll sell some. Just knock on my door and ask. You're so nice. I love it. I sure will. Okay. Thank, thanks, honey. Uh, I love you. Uh huh. Love you too. Bye. I love you. All right. She was on to me. Let's call Carol. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey, Carol. Yes. Hey, my name's Carol too. I'm your neighbor. Hello? Okay. I, I have the same name as you. And we, and we live like six houses apart. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Let's try one more time. Carol? 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 Yeah. Oh, hey. Uh, my name's Carol, too. I'm your neighbor. I don't know. I, I think the universe just basically exploded and disconnected our line because they're like, what? Two carols on the same street? Are you f kidding? I don't live on your street. I, I live on Drive. Carol? Okay. Hey. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, I just, I was looking through the directory and I'm like, holy shit, there's another carol. Would you like to hang out sometime? Wait, don't don't let him tell don't let him tell you no. Ah, the husband just cock blocked me. That was bullshit. Hopefully you guys heard that. He told her to say no. I would call her back, but I've already called her back. All right, Panty wants. <laughs> oh, that's great. Panty wants me to call and ask to borrow someone's thesaurus. Which is hilarious. Who the fuck has a thesaurus in 2020? I'm gonna do it. That's right, puppet lady. She's a weak woman. Can't make decisions on her own. Unlike me, asked to borrow some extra heavy maxi pads. Hello. Hey, Paul. Yeah. Hey, it's Carol, your neighbor. Carol. Yes, where are you sleeping? I'm so sorry to call this late. Okay. Is it okay if I stop by? I just need to borrow a, th a, a thesaurus. Some what? I need to borrow a thesaurus. Saurus. A th a th I'm sorry. A thesaurus. It's like a dictionary, but it's like similar words. Okay. You know, a thesaurus. It's not a dinosaur. All right. Uh, All right. So I, I'm just gonna. I'll just like you can just leave it on the porch. I'll just come by and get it. And if if you haven't put it out there, I'll just ring the doorbell. Okay. What what the hell is it? It's a th it's a thesaurus. You know. It, it, do we it, have? Do we have that? Wh why are you asking me? I mean, I would think you'd have it. Every household has a has a thesaurus. It's probably right next to your set of encyclopedias. In your dictionary. 
your phone, your phone books. Can, can I please borrow it? I really need it. It's it's an emergency. It's a thesaurus emergency. I don't know what you're talking about. It's an emergency. Uh, I wish I could tell you another word for emergency, but I don't have a thesaurus. You, you know what I mean. Like, like it's when, when you have one word, but you want a better word, you look in the thesaurus. Oh. Uh, it's, it's, well, uh, I, don't ha I don't have one. Oh, bullshit. Come on. I, I, I'm just going to, I'll bring it back, like, tonight. I'll, like, no. I, what do you mean, no? We're supposed to be neighbors. <laughs> Uh, I was hoping the chat room would give me a good word that I needed to thesaurus thighs. Th oh, I don't thesaur know. Hello? <laughs> Hi, I was trying to say thesaur th thesaurus eyes. Um, did, did you hang up on me or did we get disconnected? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good idea. Thanks, whoever suggested that. That was fun. Discombobulated, yeah. Well, I don't know. I I need a weaker word than discombobulated, because that's like a billion syllables. I need like a simple word to put in the thesaurus, and then I can I can get a fancy word like discombobulated. Maybe I could just ask someone to look in the thesaurus for me. Like pull out your thesaurus. I just need you to do some research real quick. Oh shit. Ah, moist. Beef curtain. A, a beaker? What? What's that? The chat room's giving me words. Uh. Crawdad? What? Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Two. Diarrhea? There's a good Hi. one. Hi. Andy Joe. I'm unable to get to my phone. Oh, that's good information. Imbots says... Oh, Hi, shit. you've reached Abby. Pray. Fucking Abby. Imbots says, according to Google, the word important is the most looked up word on the Thesaurus Rex. Never heard of Thesaurus Rex. But that's an awesome name. And now I want to know what the, the other words for important are. Quick, Imbots, what, what are other words for important? Oh, very important, okay. <laughs> in, in the thesaurus, under important, it says, very important. Oh, there we go. Significant, essential, crucial, major, hello. critical. Oh, he hello. Hello, I was calling for Danielle. This is Carol, your neighbor. Hi. Hey, I, didn't, a, didn't a man pick up? Um, that was me. Oh, oh, you sound like a man. Hey, um, <laughs> can I borrow your thesaurus? No. Your, your thesaurus, you know, the little book with all the words in it? I just need to borrow a thesaurus real quick. It's kind of an emergency. Oh, I don't, hold on, let me see. I don't think I have one. Give me one second. I know I've got a dictionary. Oh, no, it's one a, second. no, 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 dictionary is no good. I mean, it might be, you know, sometimes you can, you can get something out of the entries in the dictionary, but. I mean, nope, I've got one. It's really a small one, but I've got one. You have a thesaurus? Yeah. Oh, shit. Can, can I come right over and, and pick it up? You, you want it now or tomorrow? Oh, like right now would be great. Like if you don't want to answer the door, oh, yeah. you, you just, to the gate. Just, just throw it out. Just, just throw it out on the sidewalk. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try to aim it for your porch. So let's see how far. Yeah, that'd be Get it. great. Thank you. Okay. You're, you are a lifesaver. Thank you so much. Okay, it's on. Okay. Okay, bye. Did, did you just throw it? Did you really throw it? What? It sounds like she's throwing it. All right. We found somebody that owns a thesaurus in 2020. It was sitting right next to her Encyclopedia Britannica's. She's going to be disappointed when I don't show up. Maybe she'll just go set it over on Carol's porch. Oh shit, everybody, it's 9 o'clock. Devin is going to be on any minute now. Maybe not any minute. But, um, usually Devin does a show around, uh, 6.30 on Wednesday nights, but I guess she's working late. Hey, Donna. What? What? Don't yell at me. It's Carol, your neighbor. Oh. Yeah. No, I... 
No? Oh. I'm, I am too. Hey, um, are you sitting down? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Oh. Listen, um, I don't know how to tell you this, but I really need to borrow your thesaurus tonight. My what? Your, your thesaurus. I'll bring it back tonight. I, it's kind of a, th a thesaurus emergency. I just, I really need to borrow your, thes your thesaurus right now. Can I come and get it? My, my, thes my thesaurus? Yeah, you, you know, a thesaurus, like the little book with the words in it. Well, hon, I don't think you got the right person. Well, you said it's Donna. I, I live here on your, on, here in the neighborhood. You're on Winslow Way? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I'm in, you know, the blue house? What now? What, you know, what address are you? Wh which address? What are, what's your address? Well, I, I'm just down the street. Like, I'm not on Winslow. I, I'm, I'm on Whitman Court. Like, you know, like two blocks up and around the corner? I don't even have a thesaurus. Why not? Thesaurus. What, why don't you have a thesaurus? Well, sorry, I don't have one. Ma'am, that, that's a part of the Homeowner Association rules. You're supposed to have a thesaurus at all times. Oh, baloney. <laughs> no, no, I'm completely serious. It's in the bylaws. You, you should look. Oh, well, guess what? I, I'm breaking the law. Okay, can, can you get on the Internet and look up something for me? I'm in bed. I know, but I don't. I don't have the internet. I I don't even have a computer. Like the the website I'm told is thesaurusrex.com. What? What? Uh, and I I need to look up. What's your last name? Uh, what's your last name? Gersberms. What is it? Carol Gersberms. I've never talked to you before, Carol. I know. We're, we're not like besties or anything. It's just I'm your neighbor. I live like two blocks away, and I really need to borrow a thesaurus. Well, I don't have one, and it's midnight, and I'm in bed. But I really, I, I really sorry. can you just get on the Internet then? Can you, can you go, go get on the Googles? <laughs> no. Please. No, I'm sorry. I, there's a word I really need to look up. Uh, I'm sorry. Thesaurus. I'm sorry. I'll talk to you later. Ma'am, please, 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 please. Please. It's an emergency. I don't know. It's a literary emergency. Oh, she was talking to someone. Sorry, I was pooping. Oh, shit. Devin's here. Does that mean you're going on soon, Devin? Hurry up and do your show, Devin. I want to quit. I got shit to do. It's time for the Devin Show. Oh, yeah, I think I interrupted earlier. Uh, Devin usually does a show like three hours ago or two hours ago. But she's late tonight. She's always late. You need to stop being late. Do your goddamn shows on time, Devin. So Daisy did a show in place of Devin like several hours ago, and now I'm doing one. Mine's more of a Devin replacement show. Daisy's was a pre-show to the Devin replacement show. And then Devin's show happens in exactly 10 minutes. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. And you're correct, Seven. Devin does have a thesaurus. Because she's a modern woman that lives here in 2020. Hello? Hey, Brandon. It's Carol. Hello? Hey. 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 What's up? Not much. What are you doing? Were you sleeping? Uh, not yet. Okay. Where were you in bed? Getting there. Okay. Like, were, were you dozing off? Who is this? Carol. I live, I, 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 li I live, like, not on your street, but, like, around the corner on your drive. Okay. You're you're always passing my house. What can I do for you, Carol? Hey, is is your wife awake? Probably not. Okay. You, you want you want to come over? Are you kidding me? No, no. I just the way you're always looking at me, I thought you might be interested. And I'm not doing anything tonight. I'm just putting it out there. 
If you want to, we, we don't have to do anything. We can just hang out and talk. Who the hell is this? It's <clears throat> it's Carol, Carol Gersperms over on over on. Okay. I don't know anybody named Carol. I know. Well, you want to get to know me? We could do some Netflix and chili dogs. How did you get my number? I looked it up. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be weird or anything. I just, I just, I hoped like you might be up, and maybe you'd want to just come over and hang out for a little bit. No, thank you. Okay. Well, you know, like, do, do you, do you, you know who I am, right? I'm the one you're always, no. you're always smiling at and waving hello when I drive by. And and you had smile and wave at all the neighbors around here. I know, but listen, they're not going to know what you're coming over for. Fuck. <laughs> uh, whoever said Netflix and chili dogs or whatever. That was awesome. Thank you. I forget who said that. Netflix and chili dogs. I wanted to ask someone what they're dreaming about before I quit my show, but... No, nobody's asleep. What the hell? It's midnight over there. Get to sleep, people. Hello. Hey, Karen. Yes. Hey, it's it's Carol. I'm I'm your neighbor. Mm hmm. Were you sleeping? Uh, no. No. What were you doing? Hmm. Huh? What were you doing? Hmm. What? Hello. It's hard to hear you. I'm in bed. Oh, okay. Were, were you dozing off a little bit? Huh? Were you dozing off a little bit? Uh, yeah. Okay. I think, I think you were probably dreaming then. Because, listen, I was dozing off and I was dreaming. And you were in my dreams. So I think we were having oh, like a, a shared dream together. Okay. Isn't that, cr <laughs> isn't that crazy? What, what did you, that what, is crazy. What did you dream about me? Huh? What, what what did you see in your dream? I haven't, I haven't made me? it quite to sleep yet. Oh shoot! Well, I'm, I'm I shouldn't have called you then because I, I think you were almost there. <laughs> well, what, Great. What were you dreaming about? I wasn't yet. I wasn't asleep. Oh well, you said you were dozing off. You know, you could. Yeah. You know, a few few little uh, flickers of dreams there, right? Mm hmm. What? Nope, not yet. Okay. Um, do you think I could borrow a thesaurus from you? A what? A thesaurus. I don't have one. Why not? Because I use them electronically now. You use a thesaurus electronically? Uh huh. How does that work? Um, uh, pretty well. I mean, how? Well, how? What do you do? How do you do it? Excuse me? What do you do? How do you do it? How do you use a thesaurus electronically? You just go to Google and put type in your word meaning of Where's the where's Google? What's Google? <laughs> the fuck is Google? Yeah. Sounds like you're just making up words. Yeah. Uh when you do go to sleep, what do you think you're gonna dream about tonight? <laughs> I don't know. What do you Phone usually... calls it out of the blue. Okay. Well, it sounds like you're just being a smartass. What do you usually dream about at nighttime? Oh, well, all kinds of things. What's Find the last... Thing I okay, can. all right, yeah. What, what a generic answer. What's the last thing you dreamed about? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, you do. Like, how do you not know what you last dreamed about? Because I forget what I dream. That doesn't make sense. So, what are you, old? Everybody remembers their dreams. No, not true. Uh, yes, it is. I remember every dream I've ever had. Good for you. Yeah. I, I have a photographic memory. Awesome. Yeah. It works on my dreams, too. Good. Yep. You ever see that, that old television show that Dan Harmon did? There was this guy that was like a half-man, half-motorcycle. 
I think he was voiced by uh, the guy from Meet the Parents. Mm, no, I didn't see that. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I forget what it was called. But I couldn't help you because I haven't seen it. Yeah, they solved crimes together. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Hey. Yeah. I gotta put Cindy on the phone. Can you hold on? Uh huh. Okay. Oh, what? No, the media stream didn't in initialize. All right, no Cindy for us. Hmm? What about Monica? Can I put Monica on the line? Sure. Okay, here we go. Here she comes. She better pick up. We only got a few minutes until Devin starts. Come on, Monica. It's pretty late. I know, but she'll pick up. Monica's a hoe. <laughs> uh, fuck. Hi, I'm not able to take your call. Oh, uh, Monica's not picking up. What what can you do though? Really right. Well, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna head on to bed, okay? Okay, wait, I haven't tried Joyce yet. One second. I'm good, thanks. No, 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 okay. jo Joyce, the phone's ringing. Don't hang up on Joyce. I've got to go, bye. Joyce really wants to talk to you. Oh, her name's not Joyce, oops. It's... Hello? Hey, Eileen? Yes? Hey, it's Carol, your neighbor? Yeah. Hey, are, are you, were you sleeping? Yes. What were you dreaming about? I don't know. Is that a dog? A, a dog? Are like, you being funny? Oh, no. This isn't funny. No, I'm not trying to be funny. This is your neighbor, Carol. You know the blue house? No. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. I just, like, what were you dreaming about? Fuck. Nobody wants to tell me what they were dreaming about. They just want to tell me how unfunny I am. And I know, you know, this is my first show ever. It's not that I'm unfunny, it's just that I'm, I'm an amateur at prank calls. It's my first show ever, you know? <laughs> uh, Devin, Devin has an answer for me. Devin says she was dreaming about being a bitch. <laughs> I had to call her back. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice. Tell her I figured it out. Devin, is your show starting yet? Because, God damn it, I gotta pee. Really gotta pee. Okay. Just, just hurry up and start your show. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start my Mixler on Devin's Mixler machine. Hello? Hey, Gail? Gail, it's your, it's your neighbor, Carol. Are you there? <laughs> Come on, Gail. Oh, shit. I just fucked something up. Gail! Gail? Gail, this is important. I'm tracing this call. Don't trace it. I don't give you permission to trace. I, I, this is your neighbor, Carol. Gail! I just got traced, everyone. This sucks. Now what do I do? I've never been traced before. What's that even mean? Oh yeah, I need to go to Devin's Mixler page. There. I got it open. I'll know as soon as she comes on. In fact, we should just move the chat room over right now. Right, this guy isn't picking up. So just so you know, you're all about to listen to the Devon show. The Devon Anus Tart Show. And that's going to be over at Mixler.com slash Devon Anus, Anus Tart. Devon Anus Tart. A new start. I'm sorry. You know how I am with pronunciating things. Pronunciating things, I mean. There, I'm going to put the link in the chat room. 
Devin ain't his turn. What? We're sorry. Your call did not go through. What? Let's try that again. Okay. Uh, Devin, I'm going to try and get Susan to listen to your show. Hold on. Let me call her up. You have selected an invalid entry within our system. Oh. Goodbye. What? All right. No Susan for us. Let's try Anne, who has a bunch of periods in her phone number. Fucking bitch. Ugh. Hello? Hey, Anne? Yes? Hey, it's Carol, your neighbor? Yes? You know, you know, the blue house? Um. Anyway, hey, are you on the internet? I'm sorry. Are you, are you on the internet? No. No. Okay, uh, can you get to a computer? Are you sitting down? Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay, all right, get on the internet. Well, you can just use your phone. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. It's Mixler.com. It's it, M-I-X-L-R.com slash Devin Anus Tart. You, you know Devin that lives, um, she's like down the street a little bit? Like, like um, she's, she has the, the Tesla. She drives a Tesla. Okay. I mean, I'm not right. sure I know her. Okay. Well, her husband drives a Tesla. She doesn't drive. She's a woman. Oh, okay. But, um, she, does, she does a show on the Internet, and I'm, I'm trying to get her more listeners because right now it's just me and Becky and um, some other lady you don't know. So can you, can you listen to her show tonight? It's getting ready to start. It's, it's, a, it's a live show. I might... I don't think so. Not tonight. No, it, it's, it's cool. Just get on your phone. Go to the web browser. I'll tell you where to go. It, it's called the Take Off Your Pants Show. Aw. I tried, Devin. I'm, I'm so sorry. I really tried. Oh, well. Oh, shit. It looks like Devin's on. Devin's on, everybody. I gotta go. I don't want any trouble. I don't. I don't want. I. I don't. I don't want any trouble. I'm gonna get off the air. Devin. Devin's on the air. So seriously, I'm gonna put the link one more time in the show notes. It's mixler.com/slash Devin Anus Tart. I, I mean, a new start, but she doesn't know how to spell. So new is spelled N-U. Devin, a new start. N-U, not N-E-W. N-U. Putting it in the chat room. Um, I guess, I, I guess I'll play one more song, and then, then I'm out of here. Thanks, everybody, for listening to my, my brand new show. This is my show, the Carol Show, the Carol's Kitchen Show thing. That's, that's, that's my show. That's what it's called. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to listen to Devin. I, I love you all. Oh, shit, I put it in the wrong chat room. I put it in Devin's chat room. Damn it, I'm such an idiot. An idiot. Brad, Damn it. what's up? It's the Big Moy. Hey, the Big Moy. Hey, by the way, I just want to let you know, I think it's super hilarious when you can tell that you're obviously irritated with the voicemails, like yesterday's show. You mean like when I cut off your really long brads? You do like a 20 second brad and I cut it down to like half a second. Is that what you're talking about, Big Moist? That's so. Is that what you but, mean? Uh, it makes sense because usually people call in with nothing to say. That's not me though. I was wondering. No, when totally. You totally guys, not you. By you guys, I mean you and Tim are going to do another team up. I know you're Wait, what? Always talking about like doing different shows. And I like that live show thing that you guys did, but I couldn't like talk to you guys because there were so many people calling in. But oh, yeah. yeah, pranks. Or maybe you can go on his show or you can come on your show. I don't yeah, know, something like that. Me and All Tim, right. we got to do uh, something together. I invited right. him to do pranks, but I think he gets a lot of emails. Maybe he got buried or something. I should probably bother him about that again. I would love to do just pranks with him. You know, we've talked about doing other types of shows together, and the interview thing we did that was pretty fun. But I want to do some prank calls with Tim Henson from Distorted View. Hey, Brad, it's Cass with the Ghoul calling from Washington at one in the morning. Hey. Uh, I hope you're happy knowing that you not only do you continue to waste countless hours of my life with your show, but as of tonight, you're now stealing $5 a month from me via Patreon, too. Nice. I still can't believe I'm paying $5 a month to listen to you. Yeah, you fucking idiot. What were you thinking? Sending money to me? That was a bad financial decision. And really, what do you get in return for your money? Here, let me highlight every single hobo sode in the hobo sode directory. And it looks like you're getting 103 hours of hobosodes, you know, from the previous shows, which is only going to continue to grow. 
And what's 5 divided by 103 hours? It looks like that would be 4 cents per hour. And most episodes are 30 minutes long, you know, give or take. So really, you're paying 2 cents per episode. That's how you gotta look at this. If any of you out there listening would like to pay just two cents per hobo sode, it's easy to do. Just go to patreon.com slash phone losers and you can have regrets too. Hi Brad, this is V Dog calling from Sacramento. My name is Vitaly, and I just wanted to ask you if you know You're, wait, this is V Dog, but your name is Vitality? I am very confused already. What the fuck are you talking so about? This joke. The joke is when you clean a vacuum cleaner, what are you? If you don't know, you the answer is you are a vacuum cleaner. Isn't that funny? Mm. Anyways, I just wanted to say you're Wouldn't awesome. Wouldn't be a vacuum cleaner, cleaner cleaner? Every day and keep up the good work. Bye. You know, like when you use the ATM machine machine. Hey, Brad, it's Patrick. Hey. From Illinois. And I'm really enjoying the Hobosodes. Illinois. One thing I'm noticing, though. When you're calling up a store to let them know that their uh, their associate is actually a robot that needs a soft reboot, they're super rude because they'll be answering the phone talking to you, but then you can also hear them talking to the customer saying, "Hey, that'll be four fifty, sir." It's bullshit. It's rude not only to you. It's like being in the McDonald's drive-through. As Steve Dave from the corporate office, it's also rude to the customer was being assisted by somebody who's on the phone. So that's something you should keep in mind when you're talking to these guys. Really chew them out for that because yeah. it's, it's rude. I really should. To two folks. I'm, I'm going to go back to 2017 phone. when I was making those calls or whenever it was, and I'm going to chew oh, them out. The customer. Anyway, Brad, hope you're having a good week. Yeah. God okay. bless. Make good choices. All Bye. Right. Bye. Glad you're enjoying your two-cent hobo sods. And you know what? The value of those hobosodes only goes down. Wait, that's the wrong thing to say. I'm supposed to say they get cheaper and cheaper. The more that come out and the longer you're a subscriber, well, probably not the longer. Man, I'm a really bad salesman. Brad Carter, Alaska Jack here. Hey. Hey, uh, today's phone call, Put I just me. wanted to um, add on to one of your uh, trash ideas. You know how you like to throw your trash into uh, neighbor's garbage cans and stuff? But what I figured out is, um, do I? If you load it up in your car and you go to like any parking lot, you know, of a store, I don't remember doing that. the best because there's lots of trucks, um, usually there. But you just stop short next to a truck and just bomb it in the back, you know, just of a random truck. You just unload it. Well, that's, that's like an asshole thing to do. Do you do that for real? You need to cut that out. Also, stop leaving prank ideas in the voicemails. You're not new. Hey, Roy. And that voicemail went on for another minute after that point that I cut it off. God damn it. Hey, Roy. Brad. Alaska Jack. Sensei. Greetings to Icelandic Couch Potato. Hey. This is Icelandic Couch Potato. Sorry. No, shit. That was wrong. Hey, everyone. Anyways, was listening it's to Icelandic some couch, couch customer potato. complaints, thingies, and online, and uh, with, like, phone numbers that you call back, and oh, my God. That shit is hilarious. Not, not even just if they yell at you, just uh, the wacky things that you do to them. Mm -hmm. Complain uh, about their complaint anyway. Uh, don't know if you're still doing those. I uh, haven't listened to all, just listened to all of your snowplow shows calls yet, but uh, uh, but uh, Get to I'm work. about half finished. Anyways, out of my thirty seconds, cactus, cactus. Hurry the fuck up, and then as soon as you finish them all, it's time to become a subscriber of the Hobo Sod. Hey, Mr. Carter, this is Mr. Nonami. You called my mother earlier. Told her to hang up the phone. Did I? Uh, she hung it up quite high. I'm a little bit short. I, I was jumping to reach it, and I uh -huh. banged my erection on the counter. That's uh. And I got some cheese in the foreskin. Uh, I got some phimosis. Sorry to hear that. Which is like a foreskin infection. Okay, I, bark. I don't want to talk about infections on the voicemail, but I'm sorry about your phone thing. Hey, issue. Brad, it's Chris C. calling from the Great White North. Hey, Chris So I was Chris listening C. to an old snowplow episode, and I was wondering... You made this offhand comment about how you're almost born in Canada. Is that true or were you just joking? Because that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, by that, I meant that when I was still in the womb, I was living in Canada. But I guess like two weeks before I was born, I ended up down in Illinois somehow. So I think that makes me kind of Canadian, right? Spent my first few months in Canada, even though I've never been there since actual birth. Hey Brad, it's Rex in Jerusalem. 
Hey. Thanks so much for playing my old message and, you know, sending the well wishes to my dog, Maya, to recover for her cancer. Oh, anytime. Yeah, you didn't do that. But oh, anyway, shit. she's recovered and she's fine. Well, hey, listen here, asshole. I have approximately two months worth of voicemails here. So maybe it's just sitting in there. So maybe you need to call and apologize to me when I finally play it. I've noticed that there's a couple people on And here I'm sorry to hear about your dog, I guess. Who like to find your doppelgangers. And I think I've actually found yours. And it's Raul Malo, formerly of the band The Mavericks. Hmm. Um, I've been watching a lot of him. All right, let me go to Google and look for this guy. And I see it, I guess, only in some photos. In others, he looks absolutely nothing like me. But I can definitely see a very slight resemblance. Videos lately, and it's shocking how much he looks like a version of you with sex appeal. Oh, wow. All right, love you, bye. Thanks. So he's me, but sexy. I get it. That was all the voicemails from August. Those are completely done, at least. Let's go down to the end of the list and listen to one of the short ones. This one looks good. It's just 26 seconds long. What's up, Brad? It's P Money from DC. Okay. AKA Poster. Didn't we talk to this guy today? Didn't he call in? Just been thinking of a good suggestion. No. We're in a pandemic. Tell people you'll be putting refrigerators on their front yard to use as morgue drawers since, you know, the morgues are full from the coronavirus. Yeah. Watch people flip. Okay. Thanks for the idea. At least it was a short voicemail. And I think we can end it right about there. Oh, look at this. Here's a big old block of unknown numbers calling in. All of them really long messages. See, it might not be as bad as I think with all these old voicemails. It might just be a bunch of shit in there. Also, yesterday when I was editing, when I was putting the voicemails up, there was a ton of them in there where the sound quality was just complete shit or there was no sound. It was just emptiness. So maybe, Mr. Cancer Dog Sir, maybe I tried to play your voicemail and something went wrong with the connection or your phone or my phone. Who knows? I'm just saying people always say that I don't play their messages, but it's a pretty regular thing for me to get blank messages or really bad connections. Thanks, everybody, for listening to the show today. And thanks, of course, to the sponsors, Blackpink in your area, Chris C., Theo P., Ryan B., and 4OC RV Hobos. If you're interested in purchasing top quality entertainment at a mere four cents per hour, then I highly recommend signing up over at patreon.com slash phone losers. You know, by this time in 2024, those episodes are only going to be a penny each. So now that I think about it, maybe you shouldn't sign up for the Hobo So Just wait until 2024 when they're cheaper and you get more entertainment for your money. That's my official recommendation today. Don't sign up on Patreon. It's just not worth it yet. You're paying two cents when you could be paying one. Who the fuck you think you're fucking with? We're friends. 745, why don't white belt throw the pens? I'm Baby Joshi, the third best bitch. I don't know who this is, but I'm not stupid.